This video is sponsored by the wonderful Japanese subscription box, Boxu. Copying designs or stealing is kind of a contentious subject in the animal crafting community. Me, however, I am so flattered whenever somebody likes something that I made enough to want to replicate it. I'm obsessed. Please do that always. <laughs> so I thought it would be really fun to sit down and ask my community today for some design ideas for my fall seasonal island because I'm kind of struggling to come up with anything and I need visuals. My community has been kind enough to offer up some photos of their islands so that I can use them as inspiration. So far, my island has been coming along pretty well. We recently redid all of my villager yards to be trick-or-tree Halloween themed. Of course, I did make a video about that, so if you would like to go watch it, please do. Let's check out some of the ideas that my community has sent over. By now, you've probably heard me gush all about Baksu. They're my favorite Japanese snack, candy, and tea pairing boxes. Box. And well, I'm not gonna stop. I love to try new things. I especially love that Boxu sends new, fun, yummy snacks right to my doorstep each month. I always feel like I'm treating myself with all of these super yummy new snacks. And I love going through the box and checking out all of the sweet and savory snacks that they sent. This month's Boxu theme is Autumn For You, which showcases all sorts of sweet fall flavors from local businesses all throughout Japan. I love not only tasting everything, but also learning more about where the snacks come from and all of their intricate little flavor profiles. I also give this month's mochi, the mandarin orange flavor, an A+, and I'm so happy that Boxu included my favorite snack they've ever sent me, again, the green tea chocolate crunch. That is immaculate. Thank you, Boxu. But for my returning Boxu lovers, and maybe if you just want to get one or two things, Boxu Boutique is perfect because you can purchase past snacks from past boxes right on their website. I'd love if you checked out Boxu. I adore them and they never disappoint. Make sure to click the link in my description or use code LIS at checkout for $15 off your very first Boxu subscription box which would be the Seasons of Japan box, perfectly curated to give you a taste of all four seasons. Special thank you to Boxu. Now let's get to crossing. Here's an idea that I thought was pretty interesting to do a, let me see if I can make it big, to do a little fountain area with all of this foliage all around it and the fencing. I thought that was pretty cool. These photos are gorgeous of this hay maze and pumpkin patch, corn maze, I guess. Hey, corn maze. You say hay maze, I say corn maze. I love these ideas from the internet, the apple cider brewery. It's witch's hut. I'm still trying to think about like, what am I gonna do inside of my house? That would be a really good idea to uh, keep in my back pocket. Oh my God, so many good ideas. Fall farm, of course. You know what? You can never have too many farms on your Animal Crossing Island. I love these photos with that pathing. It's just so amazing. This is so cute. This looks like a little farmer's market cafe type of vibe. I don't know. It's very pretty. Oh my gosh, I love love these pictures. Wow, if only I had even an ounce of this sort of talent, really. I'm obsessed with all the cute little picnic areas. I just, I love it. I love the idea of doing a little fall market or like a little carnival. I don't know if I have it in me though. That seems like so much work. A pumpkin carving station. Oh wow, we got the gears turning now. That is cute. Another pumpkin carving station. You know what? I think it's decided. I have a couple of good ideas brewing up in here. So the three builds that I think I'm going to replicate are the little fountain. I have an area of my island that I think it would be really cute to implement that on. The pumpkin carving station, of course. It's just so dwelling. I just cannot pass it up. As well as the hay maze, corn maze. So let's see what we can make happen. Those of you that are familiar with my island, you'll know that this is my little gyroid and fossil spawning area. I'm able to do that because I actually use a transparent tile to cover all of my island that isn't already covered with something so that there's no actual empty spaces on the island so everything spawns in this little tiny square. Highly recommend. I do have this little sitting area right next to it. Kind of boring. Not really much going on here and I definitely don't think this is going to work for fall so putting that little fountain idea might be kind of interesting. I don't know if I have all of the space necessary for that to happen but I'm going to riff off of it and we'll 
see how it goes. A lot of the stuff here, I'm actually just gonna be replacing with different colored items. So like, I wanna keep all of these fences and like the street lamps and stuff, but a lot of other things are gonna be changed out, I promise. I'm not gonna cop out and just recolor items. I do that sometimes, I mean, don't get me wrong, but I am not opposed to a little bit of change. Of course, these benches have got to go. And then pretty much everything I think needs to be dug up. I really hope I have enough room to execute exactly what I'm thinking of. I'm getting a little bit nervous. I know for sure that I want this to probably just be like its own little green belt and I'll replace all of the flowers with more fall appropriate flowers, not summer flowers. We don't do that anymore. Okay, and then I'm pretty much just left with this. Now, for the pathing. Are we going to do something similar to our inspiration material and have there be greenery all around it? I feel like we might have to sacrifice because I don't know if we have enough room. I guess I should probably just play around with the layout a little bit and see what is really gonna work. Okay, wow, this fountain is very large and in charge. I don't know how I feel. So I could do like the fountain sort of in the corner of these two little plots of designs. I could do it a little bit closer. I could keep everything sidewalked and do the fountain kind of in the middle. So something like this with maybe some foliage around it. Okay, okay. It's, yeah, I think that could potentially be a thing and do little patches of trees around. All right, all right, let's try it. I'm not feeling very confident with the amount of space I have here. I definitely don't think I can do the two rows of fences, but most definitely I think I'll have room for one. Okay, here we go. So she is in the middle here. Imagine there's a tree right there, potentially. A tree right here. And then we have a row of fencing with some of those spooky pumpkin tower guys. I'm gonna actually go swap out two of my existing apple trees because um, I need to see these trees fully grown, not sprouted. Like I need the full vision here in order to fully commit. So don't mind if I do, I will be snatching you. Of course I have to replace if I take, otherwise I'll forget and then I will totally screw myself over. All right, let's try it. Oh, please don't look stupid. Actually, maybe. Let's try some fencing. How are we feeling? Okay. Okay, spooky fencing is a go. Two bush could be kind of cool. And I conveniently already have spooky tower. Ah, uh, so cute. Okay, loves it. Let me go grab some bush. All right, bush reveal. Ayo, bush check. Okay, I'm digging the idea. The only thing I'm really not digging that much, actually, um, now that I think about it and I'm seeing it in real time, are these bushes. Um, There's this other item that's a bush, but it's an actual item. Here, I'll actually show you on another section of my island. This bush, this is the one that I'm talking about. I need to just order a couple more of these and and use those instead so that I don't have to get rid of that little piece of pathing and I can instead put it back down and just have a bush on top of it. Kind of like planter style, I suppose. I ended up time traveling so that I could get these little triangular topiaries through the mail and the weather is a lot more cloudy, but it's kind of a vibe, I don't know. Anyways, I did end up finishing everything that I think I can add here. So we did our fountain idea, of course, with the little topiaries. I think it turned out beautiful. I do wish I had maybe planned to have put this in a larger area so that I could do the two rows of fencing like how our wonderful inspiration has done it. I am keeping my little gyroid field obviously and I went to Harv's Island and recolored a whole bunch of things so yeah looking pretty good if I do say so myself. However I am going to make you wait until the very end of the video to see what it looks like during the actual season I want to set my dream address to which is maple tree season the best season ever but I do think that it is time to move on to our next project. And that is the pumpkin carving station slash hay maze slash corn maze. I think that this huge area that I have allotted to my big lake and dock is perfect for that. So I think I'm gonna tear 
all of it down, baby. Get rid of everything. It's time to move on. This is so summer. Like, I think it's time for something new. So I'm gonna get rid of the entire lake and dock and we're gonna maze it out, baby. Pray for me, because this is actually a lot to get rid of. <laughs> the thing that really sucks is I gotta get rid of all this water. That is going to take me a lifetime and a half. But I'm really excited to see how it all turns out. I really hope that I can make my maze intricate enough. I kind of want to make it like a hard excursion. Like it's like difficult to meander through. Give you guys a little bit of a challenge when you come and visit my island. But I don't know if I have enough room to like actually execute that. Maybe if I use enough trees and tall items inside of my maze, it'll be like kind of just difficult to look at. And so then it would make the maze difficult. You know what? I think that's a pretty good concept. I got so much on my plate. I want to finish my fall island and have it up and ready to go at least before the maple tree season ends. So like right before December, which seems like a lot of time, but I don't know. I just, there's too much going on. I, I want to try my best to get it done as soon as possible so that I don't end up trying to do everything last minute, which is a total nightmare for me. And then after that, we have to work on winter island, which... Oh my God, I don't even know how we're gonna do all that. That's why I like keeping my general island layout the same and then just changing up some of the areas because it's a lot less work, which I love because I don't like performing labor. Look at that clean slate. It looks really big and empty. Yeah, I actually kind of have hope now that we can definitely achieve a pretty cool maze. First of all, I need to replace all of the green fencing that was lining the back here with my more fall approach appropriate orange. Just something pretty and simple. And you know what? Maybe I'll even bring it up a little bit so that I can have even more space for my maze. Because while the space seems pretty large right now, it's gonna get real small real quick once we start placing those fences. And just like our reference photo, I'll probably be using the straw fence for this project. I was strongly considering crafting a hundred million hay bales for this, but um, I'm really glad I'm not gonna go that route. So I'm trying to combine two concepts here, the pumpkin carving station and the hay maze. Next to the pumpkin carving station, I also believe I should have a little tiny pumpkin patch. And I'm wondering, what am I gonna do for like an entrance here? I'm also wondering what shape is my pumpkin patch gonna even be? I wanna do a long pumpkin patch across this whole back fence, coming all the way down to this very last one on the end and have this whole thing be full with pumpkins and these spooky lanterns and things like that. What if we could have the maze entrance kind of come through, be all the way around, but we have this big section right here dedicated to pumpkin carving, like in the middle of the maze? Is that stupid? I don't know. Like have the maze go all around it. So maybe a section this big. I have to really think about how I want it to look, but yeah, I don't think it's a bad idea. This is what I've come up with so far. So I have my pumpkin patch up here. This is gonna be a small pumpkin carving station. This pathway will lead us from the outside world into the pumpkin carving station world. And then I kind of want my maze to start over here and come all the way down and around and do, 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 I don't know. Not really feeling super confident about the pumpkin carving thing being in the middle, but hey, maybe I can make it work still. It might just be kind of tight to walk around in here, but it could potentially be very beautiful. And as far as the intricacy of my hay maze, I might be giving up that pipe dream. If I just try to keep it really tight, close-knit, it could potentially be kind of cool looking. And my plan to use lots of trees and decorations and stuff is also a go. I'm not a maze creating expert by any means, but I have, however, done a lot of mazes on many a kid's menu. So that is about the level of intricacy that you can expect here. General maze concept. Okay, it might seem pretty easy right now, but I mean, hey, there's at least two dead ends here in this maze. And then as you're making your way through, I want to obscure all of these hay bales and not have it be so like rigid looking with trees, bushes, spooky items, etc., etc. But see, oh, dead end number two, 
Gotta go back, gotta go back up here. I'm really debating on doing a dirt path that kind of runs through it. Should we try that and see if it actually looks good? I don't know, I'm scared that it's gonna be ugly and then I'm gonna have to take it all up. I'm also going to ignore this balloon. I don't have a slingshot and I don't have time. It is raining now. Yeah, I can already tell I, I think it's gonna be super ugly, but <laughs> I don't know. I guess let me commit real quick to a little bit more and we'll really be able to make that determination. It, yeah, no, no. Oh, this is uh no i don't know shoot like is it helping or is it hurting okay i'm just gonna ignore it for now it's a problem for future me i think adding in a couple more trees is going to really help our case here i also have a couple tricks up my sleeve to make this a little bit more difficult so don't you worry if you think it looks too easy you haven't seen nothing yet i was gathering up some more items to use inside of our maze build and then i was like you know what maybe I should have a maze entrance and a maze exit sign because it is very important to me that people enter from the correct side because then it won't be very fun so I got these codes from online I'll make sure to throw them up on the screen so that you can download them too I'm really concerned that there's gonna be entirely too many trees inside of the maze I don't really know what you want me to do about it like I'm confident that it's gonna work out but maybe I'll take one or two out by the final when I give you the big grand reveal <sighs> you guys you guys i ended up putting more of the dark dirt path down i don't know if it looks good or not i need you to just tell it to me straight like yes or no on the dark dirt path i'll take it out if you guys say that it's ugly <laughs> i'm sort of on the fence as well about adding any of the yellow flowers i see people do that a lot with their corn mazes because the yellow hyacinths kind of look like corn i'd have to source some seeds for that maybe just a little bit just to kind of like spruce it up and have a little bit of like extra decorations maybe I will but I don't know I'm not really feeling super confident with my decisions now because of this dark dirt pathing path like who is she I don't know what's happening I have a bunch of yellow hyacinths now and yeah I think I decided I am just gonna use them as little pieces of decoration I'm also gonna be using weeds and little tiny custom designs as well oh you know what I also forgot about wheat fields I should be using those that is a smart idea. I don't want to use too many though because they do make my island lag like crazy. I don't know if you guys have noticed that, but it's a very intense item to have a lot of. <laughs> Wheat fields and cars. That's what I've noticed at least. This is looking really, really pretty so far. I am so excited to time travel, see everything all grown in and also all the flowers and you know, the good stuff. The grass is going to be a different color. The trees are going to be different colors. Holy cow, I totally forgot to do that little section okay maybe I'll real quick do that before I do time travel and then there was a couple extra little details I wanted to add but before I do that I want to whip out this pumpkin carving station I'm taking heavy inspiration from my members of my discord here for these pumpkin carving stations I got to get a couple things customized and ready to go but I'm really excited to see how it turns out of course it's all gonna go right here in this little section I hope it's enough room god it might be a little tight but we can also get rid of some of this pumpkin patch too if need be my pockets are full of so much good stuff first of all we got a table beautiful I love it. I'm gonna put some cutting boards down thanks to our inspiration. I remembered that this item even existed. I also found this pumpkin soup item. Um... I don't know. I don't know if it looks like pumpkin carving or not. I also got knife block. And of course, we have to have some spooky lantern. Okay, so maybe the pumpkin soup doesn't look as cool. I hate how items hang off of the table like ever so slightly. Why? It bugs me so much. Maybe it's worth it to put a pumpkin over there? Yeah, actually, I like that. Maybe not nine whole pumpkins, but just one. Yeah, that's super cutesy. I'm actually a very big fan throw down a bucket as well maybe for the the carving stuff the seeds and i was planning on putting a whole other table too but like i don't want to clog up the space too much this looks too nice i think i'm just gonna wrap it up real quick and then time travel and hopefully everything looks good but i'm really excited to show you guys the final result are you ready are you ready spaghetti three two one <laughs> Thank you. 
I gotta say, I'm pretty obsessed with like everything that we did today. Our first build that we did was this fountain. It's not exact to our source material. Um, we just kind of referenced it to do like the fountain and the fencing around it, which is a great idea. I love it. Mine turned out pretty good. I do wish I put it in a larger area though, but overall, you know, I can't complain. The other builds were the pumpkin carving station and the hay maze corn maze, both 10 out of 10. I did take out one tree because it was a little bit much, but other than that, yeah, it's pretty smoking hot in here. I don't know, do you guys like the dirt path? Do you think that there's too many trees? Let me know what your opinions are, because I am open for discussion here. Also, special thank you to everybody that I took inspiration from for these builds. Couldn't have done it without you, truly. Your talent is immeasurable. Also, I, I can't do anything by myself. I always need something to look at, like a sort of a reference. So I really appreciate you coming forward and helping me out. Don't forget to come hang out with us on Twitch. I will be finishing up the rest of the island on there. My other socials are also down below and I hope you're having a great day and you continue to do so and I will see you in the next one.